Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawin Channel as we play more Battlefleet Gothic Armada. So, let's get this number a little bit lower. If the rumor is true that there's only 33 turns, we only have one more turn to go. So let's see what we need to do. Try another one of these assassination missions. We were so close, but he got smart and he, uh, he set up two of those bubbles. I'm just going to take you two. You guys are a little faster, right? Yeah, and you guys got a whole slew of different things you guys can do, so let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, the blue is kind of cool, but it's just nowhere near as cool as the Adeptus Mechanicus one. Let's go get him. Put you right in the middle, and we'll go right, run right after him. So you, six. You, also six. Enemy ship sighted. Do it. Where are you? Are you right in front of me? You are right in front of me, sir. Your orders? Put him in the web. Ship ready. You guys both set to six, right? You... Yes, Admiral. Let's try to do all this shit now. At your command. Setting course. Awaiting orders. I'm trying to go around these one of these command. freaking bubbles. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Wow, they got a lot of ships, eh? Cruising speed set. Yes, Admiral. All ahead, full. The fuck out of my way, bitch. Cruising speed set. Spin you right round, bitch. <laughs> Your orders? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. No. Why are you in so much trouble already? Your orders? Yes, Admiral. Get over there, Doom. Your engines are fine. Awaiting orders. Cruising speed set. Cruising speed set. At your command. Ship ready. Uh, still got a whole minute though. Yes, Admiral. Reloading. Cruising speed set. Oh, get out of the way, little guy. Mm, blow up that little guy. Watch. Your orders? <laughs> He's trying to avoid it. Oh, you little asshole. All ahead full. Cruising speed set. Course plotted. Engines to maximum. Orders received. Cruising speed set. Yes, Admiral. At your command. No! Ah, I didn't know he could still charge when he's beaten slammed into. That's bullshit. We're just too slow. That's really what it is. I should just... Oh, I don't know what to do. Just too slow. We better not get a freaking game over after these two missions. Else I'm going to be super pissed. Let's see. I 
I'd be willing to help these guys out, just see what happens. Oi, 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 oi. Cool. Hang out with the Eldar for a little bit. Put a change of pace. Seriously, their ships look freaking cool as shit. <laughs> so, what are, we, what are there, four, five, six of them? Six? Yeah. So, okay. That's cool. Enemy ship sighted. Engines hot. Awaiting orders. All ahead full. There's three right there, eh? Orders received. Enemy ship sighted. Ship ready. Enemy ship sighted. Enemy ship sighted. Go get him. Go get him. Cruising speed set. Awaiting orders. Cruising speed set. Eh, we don't got a lot of time for that thing. Shows up, eh? Enemy ship sighted. Course plotted. Setting course. Acquiring new vector. Cruising speed set. Execute high energy turn. Engines to maximum. Loma. Nice we want. Speed set. Your orders. Acquiring new vector. Cruising speed set. Your command underway. On. Got two so far. Right across the prow. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Boom. Yes, Admiral. your command. Execute high energy turn. Cruising speed set. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Reloading. All ahead full. There we go. Did it. <laughs> oh, at least it's 45 instead of 47. I don't know what that does. That's the first time we got to help the Eldar after we allied with the Eldar, so... I don't know if we're gonna get, like, a cutscene or, like, what. I don't know. We got a decent amount. We can definitely get an upgrade for the, uh... Battleship now. Maybe make them a bit faster? Oh, no, we get nothing. Okay, we're gonna just go back real quick. Refit the battleship, and uh, after that, we will end the turn. So, should we do the prow lance? No, we gotta make them faster. What's 25% of 150? Eh, that's good enough. 
You guys have leveled up a few bit too. Commissars, you guys don't try to run away once we get to the really, really big fight. Oh, we never got you a final skill there, did we? Or did you just get that? Um, you really only have one skill? Well, let's get you like a bomb or something, dude. I'll well, get you a maneuverability. Okay, cool. Need upgrades too. Man, oh yeah, it's because we made you this thingy that. Now you got more upgrades. Um. Make you more accurate? That sounds like a good idea. I can only do one of these things, eh? Increase the range. More torpedoes. It only gives us a little bit of torpedoes, though, right? Four. Uh, increase accuracy. Okay. Spent all the points. All of the points. Cross your finger, because if we have to start over, I'm going to be so pissed. But far so good. Admiral Spire, the destruction of the Tarantis system is a final warning Whew. for the Gothic Sector. It means that Abaddon will stop at nothing to capture the remaining Blackstone fortresses still under Imperial So we have to control. defend this one? An Eldar scout ship has discovered the Despoiler's next target. Abaddon is planning to attack the Schindelgeist system. Schindelgeist? There, he plans to capture Blackstone Fortress 5. Eldar Prince Eldrathane has arrived with a unique offer. He claims that with his help, the Imperium can decide Ooh, is this the final issue? The chaos invasion. Greetings, Spire. Hey, Prince of Space! Eldrathane. So here we have come at last to the final battle with the Arch Ooh, this is it. My forces can reach this Schindelgeist system quickly through the Eldar webway. And since we have an alliance, I am offering to let your Imperial fleet use it as well. Sweet! Together we can swiftly reach Abaddon's target in time to stop him. Every available commander and crewman is called to duty for this final confrontation. The Despoiler <sighs> shall feel the righteous wrath of Battlefleet Gothic. In the name of the Emperor, and the Imperium of Man, all ships prepare for combat. This is it? This Is this the final mission? Yeah, I can't do anything else. Admiral Spire. Yeah. The fleet is moving yes, into the Schindelgeist system Schindelgeist. on an intercept <laughs> course with Abaddon's ships. There's no turning back now. Our primary concern is Abaddon's flagship, an enormous vessel called the Planet Killer. The Despoiler is bringing his entire force to bear on the Schindelgeist system. We believe that he may have brought the Blackstone fortresses he has already Why could this be like a thousand well. points? That'd be awesome. Spire, the echoes of this battle will resonate in the halls of terror for millennia to come. Okay. Probably should have saved. Ah, oh, well. Can I save now? Yeah, let's do that so I don't have to start all the hell over, so... All right, this is it. Admiral Spire. Yeah, 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 we did that. We did that. We did all that. Losing a ship is expensive. Don't hesitate to disengage through a warp jump. Well, no surrender here. Uh, as much as I'd love to take you, buddy, it's going to be this guy. Yep. Wait, hold on. Do I want to take this guy or Serenity? No, we want to take the HMS Pinafore. He's been with us since the beginning. Truth and Reconciliation is like one of our toughest ships. So, now for you guys, we'll take the station wagon. That's all we can afford, eh? Okay. Fine by me. Um, it's either that or we load up on a bunch of these guys. Three of those guys. 
Do the three and three thing like we were doing earlier. That might be a bit better than taking the station wagon. Fuck it, we saved. If we lose, we can restart. Whoa! We have managed to reach Sindelgeist before Abaddon's fleet has arrived. Whoa. Whoa. Admiral Spire, your order to decapitate the me fleet by destroying <laughs> Abaddon's flagship, the Planet Car. Other admirals and captains leading battle groups to distract the enemy from your objective. Lord Admiral, are there any ships that can support my mission? I will personally accompany you in the divine right. Together, we will do our duty for the Imperial Navy, or die trying. True that. The Eldar ships are ready to fight at our side. Sweet. The alliance you forged with the Eldar is giving us a significant advantage in this battle. The Eldar shall pay their debts to the Imperium in this battle. We will fight to the last against the Arch if enemy. Either, if any of you guys or run, I'm going to be pissed. Pain. Any of you guys run away and has been sighted at the edge of the system. It is time to end this. Destroy that abomination. Okay. Whoop. Oh, man. Oh, and the Blackstone Fortresses are kind of just there. Okay. Looks like they blew that thing up, and that's why there's so much rocks. Um... Okay, so he's gonna be like around here somewhere. And he's got that special gun on him too, so we can pull it right the fuck here. Let's do this. Cross your fingers, folks. Attention, slaves of the false emperor. Your pathetic last stand will fail. All Blackstone fortresses prepare to fire. I want this system obliterated. All ships, the Blackstone fortresses are building up energy and moving towards the Star of Schindelgeist. Spire, act quickly. We must stop Abaddon before it is too late. Oh, I agree, sir. I agree. Enemy ship sighted. Wait, where does my buddies? They don't show up on my thingy. Enemy ship sighted. Yeah, we're heading straight for him. Fuck it. Oh, we just hit like a bunch of stuff there. Cruising speed set. Enemy ship sighted. Course plotted. Your orders. Enemy ship sighted. Good job, guys. Oh man, who was that? Oh, I didn't see the the fiery lanes. Who did we lose? Oh man, we lost the uh, the truth and reconciliation. Yeah, we gotta stay out of his out of his range. Helm coordinates acknowledged. For the Emperor. Ship ready. Orders received. Oh, man, those guys are moving too. We need to get behind him. Oh, we just totally just lost the truth and reconciliation. Your orders. Fuck me. Engines to maximum. Yep. We're gonna slam everything we have into him. Target locked in. Cruising speed set. See that whole that whole noise? Didn't see it. Nope. Three. At your command. Three. Okay, what you have to do? You're gonna get in there. Acquiring new vector. We have suffered heavy losses. We must take down Abaddon's flagship before we are overwhelmed. Yes. Son Abaddon. of a bitch! Fucking chaos bullshit. Imperial escort 
destroyed! Understood! Confirmed damage on the planet killer. You dare attack my ship. You will suffer a thousand deaths by my hand. I will then destroy. Engines hot! That took him out! Execute high energy turn! Ship ready! Oh, we can probably do this. We can probably do this. Destroyed. Cruising speed set! Take down the planet killer now, Spire! We're doing it! It all depends on you. I can see into your mind, puny Admiral. I can see the hopeless fear. Lurking in your soul. You're gonna wait for your, your turn. Poisoned words have no hold on me, heretic. Yeah. I am a faithful servant of the Emperor, and we shall purge the galaxy of your corruption. True that. Awaiting orders. Acquiring new. The hull of the planet Did has it. been breached. Just a few more hits. And we'll see the end of that cursed ship. Lord Admiral, I'm reading a strong warp signature in the Planet Killer. Abaddon is trying to escape by entering the warp. Spire, obliterate the Planet Killer at once. We did! Now, Imperial Lapdogs, you face your doom. Bloodstone fortresses, unleash the true power. No, I blew him up! If that doesn't count as a destruction on him, I kill I killed the planet killer! No, that is bullshit! Put as much distance as possible between you and the star of Schindelgeist. Our entire fleet is about to be consumed by the star's death throes. Lord Admiral, I will try to buy some time for you and the other ships. That's bullshit, I blew him up. Our last breath. Unless this is supposed to happen, I don't care. I blew up the fucking planet killer. I don't care what anybody says. This is cheap. <laughs> oh. Is that the end? My ship is closest to the Blackstone Fortresses. All power to the Void Shield. I will attempt to put an end to this madness. Who's Aberdol? Oh, he's one of the guys. Or the other admirals. By my faith, may the light of the Emperor spread to the farthest star. By my duty, the galaxy will belong to the righteous. Is this like... By my action, the Imperial Navy shall be honored and remembered upon holy terror. For the Emperor of Mankind and for the Battlefleet Gothic! He totally just pulled a, uh, Independence Day thing. I don't know what that did, but apparently it like dissipated it or caused like some sort of energy feedback. But the star is still there. All ships, cancel the retreat order. The heroic sacrifice of Captain Abridol and the Flame of Purity have shut down the Blackstone fortresses. All remaining vessels, we have to board them and take control. <laughs> Those are all the boarding uh... Our forces at Schindelgeist boarded the isolated Blackstone Fortress in an attempt to recapture it. Within, there was no sign of any crew. The walls pulsed with energy, and every surface had become a deep veined black, like the void of space. Suddenly, a high-pitched whine filled the air, and the walls became ruddy in color. A sense of panic filled the hearts, and the fortress was abandoned in haste. In the end, the fortress destroyed itself. It should have been a pleasing sight to see such destruction. Yet while I cannot say just why, my heart was filled with sorrow. There's some ancient I did not dismiss the feeling that something magnificent had died.
Who can tell what Abaddon might have done with all six fortresses? Some things are too dangerous to be allowed to exist. And someone decided that the Blackstone fortresses were amongst those things. I see fortresses in the stars. A circle of six, but they sleep yet. What was that? Great sacrifices had been made, and great heroes had confronted the challenge. Through the determination, courage, and loyalty of every man in the Navy, the war had been won. Billions of men. Solar Admiral Spire. Planets had been destroyed, and galaxies threatened. We stood as one. We are the defenders of humanity. We are the Emperor's blazing sword and the Imperium's crushing fist. Hundreds of billions of hands oh, ready to cool. die for our mission in the cold, unforgiving space. We are the Imperial Navy. I got some new digs for that too. Sweet. Ah. Okay, they didn't want us to destroy the planet killer because then it can come back in expansion or something like that, I guess, but whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That was that was intense at the end there. I was I totally did not see that line above the shot of the planet killer and I totally lost um the what was it, the truth and reconciliation. My inquisitorial ship, he died. The pinafore was able to bring in some reinforcements, but he just kinda got in the way and I think my battleship just slammed into him. But hey, we survived! We did it! <laughs> oh, Thank you, Focus Home Interactive. Oh, man. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, the Eldar were there. And... Oh, man. That was a quick battle at the end there, though. He just says screw it and just go straight for him. He kept on trying to line up the shot. Did anybody else notice that? Like, we would move out of the way and then try to get toward, you know, then tell everyone to go attack him. You can see his ship like turn in our direction just a little bit so we can get him in, so he can get us in his in his guns. Excuse me, gun sights, but oh my god, dude, seriously. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Game Workshop. Games Workshop. Owen. Thank you, Owen. Artwork Studios. Thank you guys. Oh wow. That was crazy. Alan Spire is Adam Hoden. Thank you, Adam. Because so our horse is Sebastian Avenary. Lord Admiral Ravensburg is Nicholas Bolton. And we have a bunch of other guys. Who was, uh... uh... Who was, uh... What's his name? Oh, man. I didn't, it went past before I could read it all. Uh, thank you, Algorithmic and Substance and Shine Research and Stormancer. That's actually a pretty cool name. Huh. Thank you, Sophie Desfoguer. I'm sorry, I'm gonna totally butcher your last name. Thank you, Sophie. May you be long remembered. Whew. Should be it for the credits, right? We got some sort of ending credit thing. Nope, nope, that's it. Oh, we finally did it. Oh my gosh. Finally defeated Abaddon the Spoiler and blew up his uh, his Death Stars. <laughs> uh, what's this? Uh, there's other stuff in here. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Custom game. Oh. So these are the strengths and weaknesses of all of them. We played as an Imperial Navy, but there's K 
Chaos, Orcs, Eldar. There's supposed to be a uh, Space Marine one coming out. And then a final one, which is yet to be named. A lot of people are trying to guess what the race is. I hope it's Tau, because that would be different. Everyone's kind of bleak looking and stuff, but Tau would be very unique looking. Um, Because, like, the Imperial Navy and the Chaos guys, and even the Space Marines, all look kind of similar. The Orc Pirates will look like really uh, stumpy looking kind of ships. I don't know how else to describe them. They look like bulldogs compared to the other ships that look like skyscrapers flying through space. The Eldars are very, the Eldar Corsairs are very unique looking. They look like bats in space almost. So I don't know what they're going to do. I hope it's something unique and different. And I think having the Tau or the Necrons would be unique um, and different. But uh, I know some people want the Tyranids, which are like big bug looking dudes. Like think Alien from Aliens, but in big living ships. I think that would be kind of cool too, but... I don't know, I think it'd be more interesting to see, like, uh, like Tau show up. Um, I know some 40k players aren't really big fans of Tau for whatever reason, but I think their ship designs would be interesting to throw into here, because it's different, you know? But it's neither here nor there. Um, but I think... I'm just going to pick... New Admiral... Wait, what is this? Difficulty normal? What is this? Oh! Oh, cool! Alright. Is this like a mini campaign? Or something? I can only do light cruisers. All right, you know what? We're gonna actually back out of that. I might do like a couple of bonus episodes just showcasing each race, just because, uh, you know, uh, it'd be cool to actually see what you can do to customize because there's multiplayer. I don't think I'm gonna do any multiplayer matches. Um, at least I'm not gonna record any, but uh, thank you guys for watching me play Battlefleet Gothic Armada. It was fun, it was very interesting, it was very tough. Like, we were on, like, the normal setting, like, the regular difficulty setting, but still tough as hell. Uh, I wonder if easy would have been easy at all, <laughs> just judging by that. I remember reading somewhere that if you pick easy, everything's just, like, too easy, that's not fun. But if you pick, like, normal or up, that it's uh, super hard, and I kind of got that. I cannot imagine doing it on any other difficulty higher than normal, because that is just crazy. But thanks again for watching, everybody. It's going to call it for now. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share the videos to help the channel grow. And if you want more Fawin Channel, be sure to like, or I'm sorry, be sure to follow Fawin Channel on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you all next time. Um, take care, everybody.